Hello guys, welcome once again to a new video. Today we are working on this uh, Nespresso Pixie machine that has the common common problem with what water not coming out of the nozzle but exact uh, coming out of the inside the the capsule chamber. Uh, and I will tell you exactly from the beginning the problem is as always clogged coffee inside this nozzle and the diffuser plate being uh, being uh, dirty with uh, um, a lot of coffee from years of uh, not cleaning it so uh, in this video i will show you how to disassemble this unit and how to proper, properly clean this and uh, yeah make it as as new as it was when you first bought it okay so enjoy the video so before going to the disassembly part let me show you what uh, this uh, unit does as i said no coffee is coming from this nozzle here but instead uh, coming water from this part so uh i use this uh, gum chamber just to dispenser just to to show you how it does okay we have to wait a little bit okay now the unit is ready not blinking anymore we have water and let's start so some water comes here but also a lot of water comes in the chamber you see there so actually more water is coming out there okay let's go to and disassemble this unit Good, so first of all, we have to disconnect the power line. Don't work with live units. Then we will have to take uh, a T20 torque bit and remove the handle there are two screws on each side and then the same no actually these are lower Let's try the T15. Yes, T15 for the face plates. Oh, we have some water down here. Okay, so on this side, the, the sides are coming off, so T15 torque bit. Here on this side there are some holes, just use a pry tool, insert it in that specific hole and it should come out really easy like that. First one and then the other one, exactly the same. So just as a model, this is the Magimix M110. Good. Then 
Uh, here we have a spring. I don't know if you can see it. And also on the other side, exactly the same. We have to be careful with this just to not lose it. So we will get it out just right now. Put it aside. So here, the same. Put it aside. Then this is the retainer for the the power cord. For this we have we need a flathead screwdriver, a small one. Got it out. Then with a small tweezer or plier we have to remove the cables, the ground. And also the live and the other one, the neutral. I think it's better with this one. it here on this side there is a small retainer again this only slides outside and now we can remove the cable completely we put this aside and here comes the fun part See here, there is a, a transparent part. This is for the LED from the behind to um, beam the lights in front. So this has also has to come out. And we have to be careful not to break it. this one out also one on the other side you can see it here don't rush it like me take your time in my case I did it couples of a lot of times so but I also break this so just don't rush it. Good. Then you have to remove this cover for the water tank. Here you will need a flathead screwdriver, a sturdy one, like this. You can start from this side, just work your way up
and this is how you remove it. Then we have to close the lid completely and then slide outside this part. Be sure that you close the lid, otherwise this part will not come out. Has to be exactly the cutout for, for them. And now, actually this is the fun part, we have to separate these two parts. And you can start from this zone here. So you see here the, the zoning. You either start from this side, Just take your time with this part. In some units it's getting out or disassembling really easy. In some units you will need a lot of frustration because these are like welded shut. And if you don't want to break something just take your time. Looks like this is the a stubborn one. As I said, this is really difficult to separate these two parts.
another part that has to be removed is this one from the inside just grab on it and remove it then shut this part back in boom all right this is coming out here like this we have two retainers here on the upper side and voila finally we remove it Whew. good then we have to take out this part just a little bit outside in order for us to to let us remove these uh, bearings here so one of them i think we can do it already let's see like this one the other one should be on this side This has to be, this part has to be removed from this part. So again, we will play a little bit with it. And now we should have a little bit of access. Ah, that's it. Now you see we have the entire brewing mechanism outside. And here we can <sighs> we removed it. Good. And now the only thing we have to do just take this. Like this in front and then up and we have removed the entire brewing mechanism here and the, the whole problem lays in this part here and inside of this part where all the coffee it's getting uh, stuck so what I will do is first of all remove this Diffuser plate like this, just put a, a flathead screwdriver and try to take it out. like this and we can clean it and clean also inside here you see how much coffee it's accumulated and also we have to remove these clips here two on each side here, here, and the same one on the other side. Clean this part, and the most important, this part here. Look how much coffee 
and grime has accumulated here. Look, all this is preventing the, the new coffee to come out and instead it's leaking outside of this part. Okay, so I will go to the sink, clean everything here, clean this part and then I will uh, use this small needle to punch again the holes on this uh, on this uh, diffuser plate. After that, uh, we can uh, we can reassemble all the unit back back together. So I will come back. All right, so we are back. We've cleaned everything. Everything is as you can see clean. No coffee residue whatsoever. We still have to, to clean this diffuser plate, so I think I showed also in other videos, just use this type of needle and go through all of these holes with it. In most of the cases, almost all are clogged and congested. That's it. And now we can reassemble everything back together. Okay, so we put this back here, just push it until it makes the click. So it's in place, then we have to push, put this part here until it clicks like this. Let put the, we will put this later. Then all the motion should be in the opposite way as we removed it. Let's put it here and then push it all the way in the back. Put the first bearing like this, squeeze and push. And the same on the other side. First, first put this part on the rod, like this, and then just push it to the side. Like this. And now we can insert it back inside be careful here to enter in the right place so like here like that good So here we have the unit back inside, clicked, here it's out, good, the pump is at its place, okay, now we put this part clicks then we need the this part back just put it I think this part should be last click here and 
then this one here. All the plastic should align perfectly. So be careful this to happen. Definitely something not good. So here we have everything in place. Let's see the, the mechanism works fine let's also put this part now just not to worry about it later good we can also put this part now just slide it this something is going on here Okay, so it seems it's better with this part out. Now it's everything fitted. Good. Let's put this part also here. Click.
let's put the springs back in this side the other one on this side this transparent part here and also this transparent part over here. Just clicks in place. Then the power cable, the next part, blue on this side, brown on this side, ground here and tucked it away over here and then the retainer here and here then we have to put this all the way over here also this part like this here and the last part should be this one just clicks in place over here now we have to put the faces back with the Nespresso sign down just clicks in place and then with the T15 Torx Close it. Okay, and the last part should be this handle, the T20 torques. And this is it, folks. Let's test it. So, let's see if we manage to resolve this problem. So, no more blinking lights. So, this means it's already hot. Let's see. So water here and inside again so 
no more water just some droplets this is normal but uh, you see now it works so yeah I hope you like this video if yes give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing thank you very much and have a nice day bye